Hello everyone. So today I'll be uh, replacing my old mailbox post with a new modern one. And here you are, you see some pictures that someone had hit it and I had to do a makeshift to hold it up for the last couple months. Initially I was gonna do a frame, a uh, two by four, um, but decided to go for a two by six. Uh, I needed more bite for that uh, post bracket ties into the concrete. So I just needed something a little bit thicker. Uh, it is 26 inches by 20. And on the next frame, you'll see that uh, here I have, I did your common gravel and below the uh, concrete pad, as well as the post already embedded in. So while it's drying, um, my lead post is gonna be about 41 inches, actually exactly 41 inches. And my second post would be 52 inches. And uh, here I am just making the cut for it, uh, for both posts. I use structural uh, screws, um, galvanized as well as the uh, post levelers and the shims. Here you see me, I uh, use the shims to make sure that everything is all leveled by using the, uh, the post bracket leveler. Uh, and then one by one, I screw both sides uh, onto the, uh, the Simpson tie. Okay, and again, just showing it that it's leveled. And again, just screwing everything in. This is the first post that you see me doing, and uh, there are six holes that you're supposed to uh, uh, screw each one. I didn't use the uh, bolts for it. Again, it was just a mailbox, um, and I think that the structural screws would do its job. And again, the same process uh, with the first post I'm using with the second post, and um, making sure everything is leveled as always. Now, this is the landing, um, the landing for the mailbox itself, and uh, I'm using a pressure treated two by fours um, and uh, making sure I have my cuts using that carpenter square and uh, cutting it down. Now those are the uh, Simpson tie brackets. I had so many of those left over from a previous project and so that's what I'm going to use to tack in the, uh, the landing uh, onto that second post. The first one's easy. You just screw it into the, um, the lead post there and then with the leveler just um, tack it in uh, right there. I find this a lot easier to use um, rather than toenailing everything in, okay? Everything is leveled, which is really good, and uh, kind of happy so far. Size. Um, these are pressure treated. These aren't uh, cedar. Uh, at the time of going to the store, they didn't have it. Um, so this will be at the base, and then this will be uh, starting from the, uh, maybe, quarter of the way up, or I'm sorry, middle of the way up, I'll be using this size. Um, and this is also pressure treated. This is, oh, uh, it's one by four. So uh, let's start cutting. So as I was uh, cutting my, um, uh, my, I guess my, the wall for the uh, mailbox. I didn't want to use any screws uh, that was a little bit too noticeable. So I went back to the department store and got these. These are actually pretty good because they're a lot smaller, uh, the head that is. And uh, I mean, it's it's just right. So uh, I'm gonna use those instead of the uh, your traditional deck screws or so. So, so here I am just uh, preparing the screws uh, using my carpenter square to make sure that everything is in line um, and I just found it so much easier to place the screws in there rather than holding the uh, the board up making sure it's leveled and then getting the screw onto the, the, the drill so um, I did work from the top going down um, I guess you can work either way but I just found this a lot easier to make sure everything's uh, kind of uniform to for the most part um, once I tack that one side in um, on the lead post that then I can uh, tack the other side into the uh, to the second post there which is what you see me doing and then at the same time keeping everything leveled as I'm working downward um, I did want to use uh, I actually I did use the pencils <laughs> as my spacer it does get windy up there on that hill we live on so at least it won't 
the, the mailbox won't have so much um, force <laughs> from the crosswind. And so I do that on both sides. Now, the, um, the next step you see me here doing is I'm using the, uh, the picket fence, which is also pressure treated. This is your standard ones that you see at like Home Depot or Lowe's. And again, making my marks to uh, pre-screw uh, pre everything. Um, again, making it a little bit easier for me to uh, put everything together. Um, so, using the same screws for the uh, composite decking. So as I bring everything out to the mailbox, after making my cuts, I think, I believe those boards are 26 inches apart. Uh, again, using the pencils and then um, tacking one side in. That way I can make sure everything's leveled on the other side. So what I created here was where I'm going to place the mailbox, those uh, two boards that you see on top that's already glued down um, is right where the holes would be for the mailbox itself to rest on. Here is the front frame of the mailbox. I used the same picket fence, cut it down to size. I did tack it on top and because those uh, screw heads uh, from the structural screws are sticking out, I used the mallet to pound on it but lightly. Um, so that uh, it will make that imprint on to behind the board. There you see the uh, imprint of the board and then I just used a drill to uh, not go through but just enough for the head to sink right in. Afterwards I uh, tacked everything in um, from top to bottom and then when you look at it and now it looks a lot more flush and I do that on both sides. So that's the uh, product right now. Um, I got a little ambitious and stuck the numbers on, <laughs> so. What I'm doing is I'm placing the mailbox uh, right where it needs to be. Um, again, making sure that when the uh, post carrier actually opens the door, when the door goes down, uh, it's not hitting into the, uh, the post itself. And with that in place, I did cut some wood to cover the remaining four by four on both sides. Again, using the uh, pencil but here now I just guesstimated I didn't pull any pencils out and I just uh, nailed it I screwed it right into the uh, 4x4 here what I'm doing is I have um, some extra wood for the fence uh, top that has the dog ears and I wanted to round it uh, by using a jigsaw and by doing so, it will kind of take the form of the mailbox uh, that's in front of it. So with the dig saw, just kind of cutting out those edges. And then with the sander, I um, just kind of want to make the uh, edges a little bit more smoother. And this took a while to do. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's uh, it just gives it, again, a little bit more character. Um, and then the finished product, I'll hold it right in front so you can see what, how it turned out. So now at this point, I'm uh, just going to remove the mailbox and place the board right behind it where it would uh, be placed. I pre-drilled all the holes for this, pro this part because uh, the wood was pretty thin behind it. Um, thereafter, just piecing everything back together. Uh, in the next few slides, you'll see the, uh, the project in its entirety. Um, I'm allow allowing the wood to dry. I'm debating if I'm going to paint it the same color, but for now, um, I think it looks good the way it is. So um, let me know what you guys think uh, and if there's anything I can do better. See you in the next one.